a makeshift plastic flag is the start of the present crossing of the river. A flag which signals the motor ferry boat at Ballyhack to come across and fetch passengers on the quayside at Passage East. And, of course, there's no way of getting cars or lorries across except by the long road detour. Two miles upstream, there's a railway-only bridge linking Wexford and Waterford. CIE has told the Tourist Association that it would welcome a road bridge downstream, a development which might allow CIE to close this railway line altogether. But what about the possibility of converting this railway bridge into a road bridge? Could it be done? The chairman of the New Ross Harbour Board, Mr Andy Minahan. Oh, no, not at all. In uh, the first place, the New Ross Harbour Commissioners would strongly object to it. And secondly, the, the cost would be phenomenal when you take, you have tunnels at the other side and, and in order to get uh, leading in and leading out of it would make it frightfully expensive. But the main reason is that New Ross Harbour Commissioners would never allow it. In terms of fishing and shipping, what would be the minimum requirements for such a new bridge at Ballyhack? Well, the, the, the uh, would be a minimum of 200 feet in height. I presume it would be a, a suspension bridge. You don't want any obstructions in the river. You want at least, uh, really, uh, for a bridge of that description, you'd want it over 1,000, maybe 1,500 feet to 2,000 feet wide. It's a very uh, heavily fished area, and uh, uh, fishermen object naturally to bridges. At least, I think the fish even object to bridges. So it would have to be a suspension bridge uh, for that reason. Another slice of the New Ross community to be considered is the traders who now enjoy the business of through traffic making the road journey. Mr. Russell Jacob is a committee member of the New Ross Traders Association. Uh, I, I, I consider this proposed new bridge uh, detrimental to the business people of New Ross for the simple reason it would attract uh, an awful lot of this people from that area to Waterford and New Ross is not as big a town as the city of Waterford and uh, I feel for that reason it, it certainly would take from the business life of the people of New Ross. Ballyhack with its castle in the foreground is a fishing community with its own boat building yard. The castle itself was an outpost of the Templars of Templetown. The 15 feet rise in tide makes the river an ideal fishing ground for mussels, herring and salmon, the main occupation of the workforce of Ballyhack and its across the water neighbours in Passage East. It's the picture postcard beauty and unspoiled character of the two places which the Hook Tourist Development Association would obviously use as an inducement to increase holiday making in the area. They claim that the district so abounds in beaches that every day of a fortnight's holiday could be spent on a different beach or enjoying the many sports catered for in the area. What we in our association want is an in-depth study of the project uh, to uh, quantify the advantages and see if it is possible. I think really that, that we wouldn't be in any way qualified to do a study of this sort. This would be a very technical operation, I think, and uh, what we would uh, envisage is for the government to employ or to commission um, some sort of uh, firm of consultants to go into this in detail. Uh, we recognise the study would cost money, but in order to uh, quantify the advantages, I think this is necessary. Certainly, our association is only made up of, of uh, ordinary people uh, who uh, do this sort of development work voluntary, and uh, we wouldn't have the facilities or the expertise to carry out such a, a study. Meanwhile, the planning goes on. The association meets regularly to try to increase the momentum of the Bridge the Gap campaign. The association has hoteliers, businessmen, even a school teacher in its ranks, but not many fishermen. Again, I wouldn't say you'd ever see any, any, any bridge here. Not that, that now for the last, what, nearly five or ten years here now, for the bridge across here. Oh, I think that'd be really out of the question altogether. You'd want to have it in the States for to do with that with it, you know. They'd have, a, they'd have a suspension bridge there in no time. No. You don't think you have a chance of getting one no, here? No, it's a ghost of a chance, no. So we talk some, doing so many different jobs around here. I think if we had a forgotten village.